Disturbing reports tonight of women being followed in at least two public places. Now some of those women are going on social media to make sure that everyone is aware of their surroundings. So here's a look at one post. The woman describes how she and her friends were stared at and followed at Columbiana Center. A similar report was made at a local Walmart. Emily Scarlett is live now at Columbiana Center. And Emily, I know one woman you spoke to so afraid she did not even want to show her face. That's right. I spoke to two women that say they went through very similar situations. And one woman tells me just two days ago, she and her friends were followed by two men here at the mall for at least an hour. It's one of many stories with similar details being reported on social media and now to police. I have always been an advocate of if you see something, say something. She asked that we conceal her identity, but she does want people to know what she says happened at the Walmart on Garner Sperry Road Thursday around noon. A guy, I heard him at the end of the aisle talking on the phone. I'm very aware of my surroundings. She says that guy soon approached her at first, speaking what she describes as an Arabic sounding language. And then he starts speaking French. And I picked up on it being French because he said parlez-vous français. And then he was speaking in Spanish. And then he said, habla espanol. And I said, no. She says at this point, he refused to speak English. And then I said, no, I speak English and I know you do too because I just heard you speaking English with no accent on the phone. Immediately after he said, oh no, no, I don't speak English, I realized he was holding his camera right at his chest and he was clicking. And I was like, are you taking a picture of me? The man eventually walked away, but she says she decided to follow him. His next stop? men's apparel. He started taking off his shirt and putting on a new shirt, which really kind of struck me because I'm like, is this guy trying to change his appearance? She says she eventually reported the man to several Walmart employees. A manager offered to escort her to her car, and she says she was told the police would be contacted. College freshman Emma Smalley says she experienced something just like that this week. Two days ago, um, three friends and I went to the Columbiana Mall around 6 p.m. Emma gives a similar description, only she says there were two men. And they had dark hair, dark facial hair. They seemed as if they were of Middle Eastern descent. Not sure, that would be my guess. She says she noticed them staring, even pointing, but she didn't feel alarmed until she noticed them almost an hour later at the food court. They were by the carousel. He just was so open about it, like really just didn't even try hiding that he was following us, besides the fact that he was looking at perfume and weird things kind of stalling. When Emma and her friends moved on to another store, she says one of the two men was there waiting outside and eventually came inside the same store. They contacted mall security and were escorted to their car. Both women say they contacted police, but no reports were filed. I would just want to make girls in the area aware that this does happen. It's time that we step up and we start doing something about this. Is it going to take a, a woman being snatched or multiple women? The Columbia Police Department says they're taking these reports very seriously and they say they are in contact with mall security. Coming up at 6, they're also providing some safety tips while shopping. Live in front of the Columbiana Center, Emily Scarlett, WIS News 10.